It is the worst thing that can happen to a parent, losing a child. In April of 2016, Lakia Collins suffered the pain of losing her son, popular Greenbrier High School student, Robert Ballard. These young men are like my kids. Um, Robert was like a son to me. And, um, it's tough for everybody. The 16-year-old star athlete drowned at Clarks Hill Lake while trying to swim to an island. Coach Tony Kramer went to the scene when he got word of what happened. They were in a really kind of at the point of state of, of shock, um, disbelief. Kids who are now mourning the loss of their classmate and their teammate. Robert ran track and played cornerback and wide receiver. A great to his peers, and uh, that's what I'm going to miss most about him. It's just being able to talk to them. My job right now is to be there for the kids, be there for the family. We'll work through this together. Lakia turned her pain into action and has been trying to get Robert's law passed to prevent teen drownings in Georgia Lakes. She's also published an autobiography, All Is Not Lost. Lakia, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you, and Jenny, for having me. I was complimenting Lakia on this picture on the book. It's a beautiful picture of her. And I asked if you really were at the lake because I can only imagine how hard that was. And you said that was the first time you had been back. That was the first time I decided to visit the lake. Um, it was a part of my healing and I felt that I needed to do this for myself as well as the children I had left as well as I owed that to Robert. How hard it must be when you're grieving for a child, but you have other child that you have to, you, other children that you, you, you have to show them love and you have to help them grieve. And, and I'm, I'm sure part of you is like, well, it's not all about Robert because it's them. I mean, there must be so many different things. There are so many different avenues, Jenny, through the grief process. And um, it's funny that you should mention that I had a particular time where I couldn't focus on the other children. All I focused on was my loss for Robert. And I recall my, he was then six, he's, he's nine now, um, Bryson, he came into the room and he said, Mom, I need you. And um, that was a, a really surreal moment for me. And I, I had to get up in that moment and say, you know what? I have to live, I have a purpose to find. And I also never want him to say, not only did I lose my mother, but I lost my brother, but I lost my mother as well. And um, at that moment, I knew I had to get up. Gosh, that's, that's just, that's really deep. That's really deep and it's really hard. And one thing that you have done with your pain is lobby for Robert's Law. Tell us a little bit about that. Robert's Law. Um, I mentioned a lot about the law inside the book. Um, if you realize my name, my name is spelled Lakia, L-A-K-E-Y-A, -E and God gave me this revelation very early on that lake is inside of my name. And um, yeah. I knew that I had a purpose, I had a mission to do, that my son's life was not in vain, nor was his death in vain. And I came up with this law and I'm, you know, why aren't our laws governed, you know, our laws governed by any laws, our lakes governed by any laws, and you know, our children are swimming and dying at an all-time high rate in Georgia, and I'm just on a mission to get this law passed, and I will never stop. You have had a petition where I people have. can sign, sign the petition yes. online, right? Yes. An online petition. Yes. And you've also written this book now, All Is Not Lost, and I, I do want, I do want to show you this book. Um, I, I guess people can get this on Amazon? Amazon and robertsangels.com. Amazon or robertsangels.com. And um, this book is about your journey. It's about my journey. Um, not, not all good, not all bad, but it's about my journey and overcoming the different obstacles of saying that even when we thought we've lost everything in life, all is still not lost. There's still a purpose. There's still a mission in life. And we have to realize that all truly is not lost, no matter what pain we endure. You are such a strong woman. And one of the things that you did that is so touching is you graduated with your BSN. Yes. Robert couldn't graduate, but you graduated. It was a promise you made to him. It was a promise I made the, 
The day that I lost Robert, I took my last final exam, my exit exam to finish school, and that evening I lost Robert. After I had been pushing for this, this degree for over 15 years, and um, once I got back up, I made him a promise one night that um, he couldn't walk. He can't walk. He couldn't walk on his high school graduation, and I was determined. No matter the tears, the the, the pain, the heartache, the you know the abandonment by family and friends, that I was going to walk with my son's picture in 2018 across that stage. He didn't have the opportunity to do that. And that was my biggest goal, that I was going to do that. And through the grace of God, I did it. I did it through the grace of God. Lakia Collins, keep on writing, keep on telling your story. Please pick up a copy of this book. It's just a click of your mouse. We've got the details on Jenny on our website, wjbf.com. Just click the Jenny link. And Lakia, I really hope that you make make strides and make progress with Robert's Law because they're, it, it, it's terrible yes. when, when we lose our teens like yes. this. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank Thanks you for, for having me, time. Jenny. Next on Jenny, he's one of the most creative designers in the area, and we love it when Michael Seward drops by the studio. See what he's got in 